Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Cougars haven't only flirted with disaster, they've courted disaster, they've romanced disaster, they've married disaster, they've become one with disaster. So finally, now at rock bottom, there's only one way to go, and they finally go up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. As the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Flushed and they got it. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from it or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. Quick throw. And down he goes around the 22 yard line. Brown gains four yards on that reception. Silva is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. The Vandals right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Just let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And now he's got room to run. Gets out to around the 25. Frazier's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Idaho! He makes the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Hawkeyes were ranked 23rd. 
The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. And for Iowa, their hot streak continues. And for Young, he finishes the game with a handful of touchdowns, five of them on the day. After this performance, only one way to describe him, flat boy dog warrior. The Hawkeyes take it easily, a 20-point win. In other games, time to check out what's going on in Norman. Check out these two teams keeping it close. Tulsa leading the way, 3-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Idaho is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Idaho's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. On the throw, incomplete pass. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Looking for his man, incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open, he just misfired. Roberts will be the return man. He's taken down at the 47. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 44. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Idaho up seven points. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And he's finally shoved out at the 16. Great run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Quick pass. He's tackled at the nine. That makes it second and two. Taylor, again, touchdown, Vandals! And he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to give you an update from College Station. The Aggies unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. The Aggies have the edge, 14-7. In other action, Boomer, Sooners ready to go in Norman. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Tulsa, they're trying to put a stranglehold on this game. The Golden Hurricane lead, 6-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Bennett has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Vandals have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in the football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. 
Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at the 42-yard line. That screenplay was well executed. I'm not sure the defense was looking for it, and they weren't in great position to make a play until the first down was already picked up. First and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the draw play. That'll make it second and four. run and he's brought down man it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game from the 47 yard line first down He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the go. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22. Five wide. They'll bring him down right around the 12 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. That'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. Idaho's lead is two touchdowns. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Touchdown, Cougars! determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Sooners arrive at today's game ranked number six in the land. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Oklahoma, they are now in the driver's seat. The Sooners are out front, 7-6. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Silva gets set to kick this one away. Gutierrez fields it at the 11, and he has it on the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Idaho is up by a touchdown. run there. Taylor picks up about seven yards on the run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 34. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He's at the 20. And they push him out right around the 14-yard line. Mm -hmm. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. Tackled after decent pickup. Taylor gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Behind the line. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and six. From the 11 yard line. Third down. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Red, kill, kill, kill. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the five yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. Idaho is up a score. Touchdown, Idaho! And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Sooners come in today's game ranked number six. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Tulsa, they'll hit you in the mouth and make you like it. And they pound one in for the score. The Sooners lead it by two. Middle of the second quarter. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you could ever expect that to happen. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's on the run. And down he goes, around the 19-yard line. From their own 19-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Taken down in the backfield. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Roberts is the deep man awaiting the return. The Mandel staff right now has got to be smiling because what they're putting out on the field is working against this defense. It's been a fun battle between this defense and this offense. We thought the quarterback might be the one to be able to make some big plays today, but up to this point, it's been the running game. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's at the 30. He decides to run with it. Four yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. Good open field tackle. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, I like the decision making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Sets them up for the first and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. And the goal line defense digging in here. A 
touchdown, Vandals. He makes the PAT. A poor play, 43-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 28-7. to kick sends it sailing downfield Humphrey fields at the goal line and down he goes at the 19 things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half these next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being scrambling around and they got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Complete. He's got room. Brought down around the 27-yard line. Call the game of 11 yards. That'll bring up 32. tackle at the 30. You know, the offense right now just seems to be managing the clock. And another first down, they'll move the sticks, start the clock again, but offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry at this point. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. From their own 30-yard line. It's second down. Brown gets the call again. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. We've still got a half of football remaining. Idaho's got a three touchdown advantage. Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Scramble. Tackle around the 24-yard line. That's good for a five yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Everyone, 37 to the right. Mike, 37. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Lost the three. That'll bring up third and eight. There we go, there we go. Watch 22, watch 22. Okay, let's get in them holes. Red, two Looks middle, got his back. That's a great tackle at the 23 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Ryan is the punter. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Thomas on the tackle at the 44-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. And he might want it all here and does. The defender had it and then dropped it. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. Pressured and brought down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires it out. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. Jones was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Humphrey awaiting the return. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Fires 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. There's a strike complete. He's to the 40, and they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. That's three down and one to go. The Vandals with a three touchdown advantage. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Hampton picks up around five yards with that catch. That'll make it 39. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Five wide. Swings it out there incomplete. Once and all, going deep. It's caught, and he's taken down at about the 13. That makes it first and 10. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. They come out on an empty backfield. Makes it out to about the 11-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And they'll bring in the goal line set for this one. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. the three. Thomas on the tackle at the three-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Brigham Young! Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 12-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just under three to go in regulation. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Black five, black five. 
makes it out to about the 23. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. And they'll get him in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24. Taylor gets it on the inside. And he's tackled at the 13 yard line. The Cougars, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. It's first down. Defense trying to hold their ground here. It's first and goal inside the five. He's on the run, and he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the four. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Red two. Orange three. tries to buy some time. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. The Vandal sideline just erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run. What a big moment in this game. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Time to check in in College Station. The Aggies win it by 20. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Idaho to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Got a man, watch out here. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Over the middle, got his tight end. There's a very impressive open field tackle. First down. Spikes the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. to his tight end. He's tackled right around the 10-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And he stops the clock with a spike. That brings him second and goal. From the 10-yard line, it's second down. He's going to come up with a sack. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. The spike will stop the clock. That brings us to the goal. 
So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle at the four. This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Idaho 35, Brigham Young 14. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.